Splinter Cell 1 was the first one on the market to bring this new genre. It really defined the genre, uh, action stealth. And, and for us now, it's about taking that genre and pushing it you know, further. When we started working on Conviction, um, we approached it uh, with a lot of respect because Splinter Cell is a huge brand. I love the old Splinter Cells, but it was time to kind of do something new. We did our own work, so we played, uh, we replayed all the, the Splinter Cell games. We played all our uh, all the other uh, games and the genre. As I was playing them, I found them to be a lot frustrating. Uh, I didn't feel like the guy that 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 I was supposed to be. In reality, that kind of fantasy of playing like a, you know like this kind of stealth agent, if you're spotted, it shouldn't be like mission failure. You know, like it should just be that kind of next step of the evolution of the action. With Conviction, we brought this new layer of action. Stealth games, they can be permissive and they can be spectacular. And how we do that, it's by allowing players to go into an action loop and then come back into stealth. The gameplay loop uh, that we have in um, Spinner Cell Conviction is uh, what we call PEV. Prepare, execute, and vanish. It perfectly describes uh, the new gameplay that we uh, are bringing forward. It's not you play stealth or you play action, you play both at the same time. <laughs> what we're really allowing you to do now is approach these missions however you want. This is what I want to do, this is where I want to go. Bang, I do it. If you approach the enemies in a stealthy fashion, you can then be rewarded with a Mark and Execute. Whoa! Mark and Execute is a new gameplay system that we've created for Splinter Cell. And uh, the core philosophy is basically having the player able to kind of master like uh, Sam's skills. Like you have classic scenes in movies when people breach a room, pull the pistol out, bang, 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 three shots will kill three guys. We want the player to be able to experience that kind of thing. Basically, when you're in the shadows, you can observe the enemy and prepare uh, your plan or your tactic. You have a look around, see which enemies you want to target, bang, click uh, the right bumper, mark appears on his head, go for the next guy, mark appears on his head, and then at any time you want, when you're in the right position, press Y, and then you'll unleash like a barrage of bullets at these guys. You can even mark lights, all different objects. Being able to orchestrate the battle, then being able to orchestrate the, the, the attack in a very feral, predator way uh, that uh, just makes this game uh, amazing. Everyone is still finding new and cool ways to use Mark and Execute. We're doing it fast because we want you to feel like a predator, like a, like a panther. You got Sam moving in such a way that he never moved before. He's just doing moves that are just powerful. You know, you get seen by the enemies, they start shooting at you, they start engaging you. And then, if you want, you just turn a corner, you hide in the shadows, you break the line of sight with your enemies. And then automatically, what we do is uh, we, we make appear your silhouette, your last known position. The last known position, it is, uh, it's a visual representation of where the enemies like, last saw you. Like a figure of you will appear there, like a ghostly kind of figure. And what that does is it tells the player, good job, first of all, you've broken line of sight with the enemy. They don't know where you are. But also what it does is that it tells, it tells you that the enemy is gonna concentrate on that last known position. So you know where they're going, you know where they're looking. So you can flank them, you can ambush them, so you can really play with them the way a, a cat would play with a mouse. The hardcore Splinter Cell fans and the hardcore shooter fans are gonna really appreciate what we've done. It's just so cutting edge and I was blown away. We're really happy with what we have. I think we have a unique mix of, um, of stealth and action. Storytelling's great. Even more fun and high impact. That is finally a game that everybody wants to play as a stealth action game. <laughs>